if you're having an acceleration problem like this, I will show you how to fix that. So here you want to take off your hood and look at your carburetor which is on this side. You want to get a Phillips screwdriver and look at it right here. You have one screw. You want to unscrew this screw just a little bit. You don't have to take it all the way out. Make sure you do that. Then you want to take this wire off. We're going to take it out. You want to push down right here on it and pull. That's going to separate. And then next, um, you want to remove this tube just like that. So you want to get a 10 millimeter socket because we're going to be removing the carburetor off with the air box. So what I'm doing now is I'm using my socket wrench with a 10 millimeter socket at the end. And I'm removing one of the two bolts that are holding the whole carburetor assembly with the air box. And I've noticed that the one bolt located over here, it's kind of difficult to take out actually. So I, you have to, I'm using one of these. So we're going to go ahead and remove this one also, this bolt. Now Remove the air box just like that. Put it in the safe spot. Now we need to disconnect the fuel hose. And then you can just pull just like that. You're going to have some uh, gasoline dripping from the carburetor. That's normal. So here I got the carburetor off, and it's pretty easy to do this. Just remove the four Phillips screws located under your carburetor that is holding your carburetor bolt. You want to remove this rubber grommet, get a small flathead screwdriver, take this jet out, Here's one of the jets and in small writing it'll tell you the size of the jet and this is a size 45 and we're going to go up to a number 62 jet. This is from a 50 horsepower Yamaha two stroke. I'm going to screw that in. Then get a large flathead. Screw this one. And as you can see, uh, this is a 108, and we're moving up to a 100 and one, 130. Screw that in. Then you want to reinstall this rubber grommet. Reinstall your carburetor bowl. Tighten up the screws and reinstall the carburetor back into your engine. So now we're gonna reinstall the carburetor. Make sure you have a O-ring right here on your air box and if it's damaged or cracked, you wanna replace that. Slide the air box cover on your carburetor. Then you want to start screwing in the screw in your intake manifold. 
Okay, so once you install the carburetor, you tighten up the two 10 millimeter bolts, install the hose going to your airbox, clip it in right here, reinstall your fuel line. I, I forgot to put this on first, but this pops out down here. Slide it through here. And then just pop it back down here. Tight, make sure you tighten this up. Do not forget about that. It's important. So after hooking up the carburetor back in the engine, the uh, engine runs great and the throttle response is a lot better than it was before. See. And if you remember before uh, with the old jets that came from the factory, when I uh, give it a throttle, it would die out on me. As you can see, now with the jets from the 50 horsepower Yamaha two-stroke, it runs a lot better. 